On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. In this episode of On Drop Rate, I am going to the boss where I've been the most lucky ever in the entire game. We're going to be killing the Armadol boss, Kriara. The item we're going to be hunting for the challenge in this video is the Armadol Helmet, which has a 1 in 381 drop rate, so that is the maximum amount of kills we will do. Now, why am I saying that this is my luckiest boss ever in the game? Well, this is my collection log at this current time. 338 kill counts, and I have everything collected on the entire log, and I have 4 Armadol Hilts, which is pretty insane. But this gets even crazier. This is when I actually completed the log. 186 kill counts at every single item including the pets and two hilts at this time so in the past like double that 186 kc i have got two more hilts but i feel like it's time to actually get even luckier than that so let's see what we can get in this video now if you are going to do Kriara, i would strongly recommend to get ecumenical keys and if you can you should be on a slayer task i actually currently I'm on a Slayer task, let's have a look at that, check, and I have 133 Aviances in the God Wars dungeon from Konar even, so we can get Brimstone Keys on this one, but I am not going to get more Slayer tasks in the future, that would take way too long for all the 381 kills, but uh, yes, Ecumenical Keys I will use for the entire time, and I will be on a Slayer task in the beginning. Now let's talk about some investments I'm going to be doing for this grind. I am selling my Scythe of Vitter and my Inquisitor set because I don't need that anymore. I needed it for the Nightmare and in the future I can buy them back. They are actually at a very low price right now. And that is kind of unfortunate but I did buy them at pretty much the same price. Everything has been going down a lot since Raids 3. That is not really useful in the raid itself. So we have 700 million GP now. And the first thing I'm going to be buying and overall is going to be Masori Body F, the stronger version of it. I'm not going to be using the mask just yet, even though it's only 46 million. I'm going to be using that after I'm done with the first layer task. So for now, we're going to be buying the body and the chaps. Actually, both of them instantly bought for the medium price and probably lower than that. Yes, that is a sign that they're going down. So hopefully it's not going to go down all too much during this grind. And the body went uh, not that much, 223k. But uh, I've actually never been equipped with these Masori items. So I do want to look at how they actually look. That is really nice. You know what? Oh my god, I just realized I already have the Masori assembler. So this will actually fit perfectly. High defense is also very valuable at Kriara, so I'm going to be using the Dragonfire Ward. And one item that you might not know existed is the Bottled Dragon Breath. You can actually buy this and then you do not have to charge it through tanking dragon hits. Because right now if I inspect this, it has no charges. If I use this, which was like 11k, which is very low, it now has 50 charges. I don't have to do anything with uh, like going to Nightmare Zone and tanking dragon hits. Another big investment is that I have to buy a lot of these black chinchompas because of the way we're going to be killing Kriara. I will show that in just a minute, but uh, these 10,000 I am not bringing at a time because if you die... You always lose every single Chinchompa in your inventory, so I'm probably going to be bringing like 250, 300 per trip. And this is all worth 22 million, so hopefully we actually get lucky and get some items on this video. And the final investment I did was the Armadol Crossbow. This will be my only Armadol item in the entire dungeon, so I have to have this equipped while running to the boss. Otherwise, I will be piled on by the Aviances, and also I am going to be using this crossbow on the boss. Switching between it and Chinchompas, I will show you guys, as I said, all of that in just a minute. And for the inventory, I have the Bastion Potions, some Saradomi Bruce Restores, and then we have the Mithril Grapple to get there, 300 Chinchompas, Master Wand for Blood Brush on the minions if I need it, and a Blowpipe to kill the minions if I just need to kill them. Also, the Special Attack on the Toxic Blowpipe heals you, so that is another nice heal. We have the Ecumenical Key, and then we have the Bones to Peaches. 
All right, let's actually get down to business. Let's go into the room, use the ecumenical key, and I will show you guys how I'm going to be killing this boss. So initially, if you attack Kriara, you can see that she is not going to move. So you see the tick that you actually attack her, and if you keep attacking her, you will not make her move at all. She will stay in the same place the entire time. And the goal is not to do this when using Chinchompas. The goal is to, for example, now you can see I stopped attacking her, but place her beside this melee minion right here. Click on the boss and then swiftly click on the minion again and throw the Chinchompa on the minion. This will stop Kriara from meleeing you and you also do full damage on Kriara. And I am taking a lot of damage here, but uh, when the actual minion dies, you keep attacking with the crossbow again. And you can see how much damage the boss actually took from those Chinchompas because... The defense of the minion is counted in for the boss as well when you throw the Chinchompa on the minion instead of throwing it directly at the boss. So that is why it is way better to attack the minion with the Chinchompa than the actual boss itself. Now after the boss dies I'm going to be maging with the blood brush to heal myself up on the melee and the ranged minion. Right now the melee one is dead because I used Chinchompas on it but sometimes it can respawn if you do not kill the boss in time. And I will blood brush the ranged minion and the melee one because they have warrior somatic defense. And for the mage minion in the back right there, I'm going to be using my blowpipe specs because it is weak to ranged. Oh my god, we actually got an elite clue scroll. That is pretty rare at this boss actually. I don't think I've ever got one on this boss before. It's actually 1 in 250 to get an elite clue scroll, but uh, I'm not complaining. I do have to say, this is the first trip completed and it was shockingly good. 16 Kriara kills, you can see that at the bottom of the list right there, in one single trip. I don't think I've ever had that many kills in one trip using this method. And uh, I guess it's thanks to the Missouri and also being on a Slayer task. Now the minions in the room do of course count for the Slayer task as well. They are Aviancis, you can see I got Slayer experience for that. And uh, that is already the end of the task, so I will not be able to use the Slayer helmet anymore. And we are now at 29 Kriara KC. I mean, I have to at least try it with a 10% back-to-back task. Can we actually get it? Ah, oh, Anku is unlucky, so no more Slayer tasks this video. You know, initially I was going to buy the Masori helmet, but uh, it actually has terrible ranged defense. So I'm going to be buying the Justiciar face guard instead, and it is pretty cheap. It's 11 million, and this is going to be way better than the uh, Masori helm at Kriara. I think the defense is going to extend my trips by quite a lot, and I have to use less ecumenical keys. But I had to go back and get some more ecumenical keys. I can only have three of them at a time and they are one in 60 for me. You can increase the drop rate by doing, I think, the hard or like elite combat diary, stuff like that. But I am not going to do that for this video, obviously. Way too long of a grind. But uh, I did this many kills on the screen with four ecumenical keys. I started with three and also had some shards from next to make a fourth one. So every like 38 kills or something like that, maybe on average if I do 3 keys, I have to get new ones. I have never seen this happen. All the minions stacked in one pile. Unfortunately, I am not cheating the boss when hitting the minions for some reason. Uh, I, I don't know how this happens because the mage minion and the ranged minions usually just don't move. But this time they just ran to me. I have no idea how this happened, but pretty cool. I mean, I can kill all the 3 minions at once. Oh, hard clue from the minion. Sure, I can do all of those as well. Stacking up some elites and hards from both the boss and the minions. Hey, there is the first rune sword of the grind. The bait drop, of course. It's uh, slightly more rare than any of the armadol pieces, except for the hilt. So people usually just say it's kind of a troll drop. By the way, I thought I would mention this. Every time I go and get ecumenical keys, I have now decided to bring Blood Barrage. And you can see that the minions are fighting each other. And as long as you hit them once, you do one damage on a minion, you actually get the loot for it. Because them doing damage to each other is not counting towards any damage that they actually take, it seems. So what I'm actually doing to get ecumenical keys the fastest way possible is I'm just Blood Barraging around all the minions, tagging them, and then meanwhile killing the imps when they are tagged. And when they eventually die the minions there's actually loot on the ground and i can see a ecumenical key because they all have the same drop rate of the key one in 60. 
I actually got another elite, you can see that in my inventory, but this kill right here is kill number 100. And you can see on the loot tracker on the screen right now, this boss is terrible money if you do not get any of the uniques. But if you do get a unique, you'll instantly make a decent amount of money, but 1.2 million from 100 kills, that is pretty tragic. No way, dude. Oh, no way. The first unique we get, we're now at 124 KC. The first one, we actually get the Armadale Helmet. Man, I got the Dragon Fall Helm last episode. Another very nice helmet. And this time, we get the Armadale Helmet. Of course, I already have all of these uniques unlocked on the collection log, as I showed earlier in the video. But we're done. 124 KC. I'm going to be honest, I would have liked to see in some of the other drops. And also, we got three elites. That is going to be very fun to open because we got super lucky on that. Hopefully, we can get lucky on those. But yeah, we're done with the grind. So I made 9 million GP in loot from this grind. And I probably used 5 million in Chinchompas. And on top of that, the Masori pieces are crashing right now. So I lost a lot of money on this video. The chest I lost like 40 million on. The legs like 10 or 15 million. And I'm going to be selling them back because I really do not need them for anything right now. Oh my god, look at that dip. That is hurting. So it's not even selling. No, man. Okay, well... At least it was a fun video to make, but goddamn. Let's hopefully make some of that money up that I lost. From these clue scrolls, we could always get third age, mimic, maybe master clue scrolls. Get something good from that. So let's start with the hard caskets. The first one is, oh my god, 260 overall hard clue scrolls though. So that's pretty nice getting up there in the numbers. 43k though. Next one is 79k. And the last hard one is 89k. That is not that good. All right, then let's see if the elite caskets are going to be any better. The first one is going to be some dragon weaponry. Definitely worth more at least, even though it is a pretty disappointing clue. 164k. Man, not even one single collection log. And I haven't really got that many uniques from these as well. So third one is going to be a lot of items and also a master's. So let's uh, do that. Hopefully we can actually complete that. No, I got this step one time before in the series, Fighter Torso. I do not have that, and I do not have any points in that mini game. Unfortunately, no master this time. But at the end of everything, the only addition we did for the 124 additional KC to my collection log was one Armadol helmet, which, funny enough, was the exact item I was hunting for. So I guess you could definitely say that my Criora luck is continuing on an insane path. But with that said and done, I would like to say thank you all so much for watching another episode of the On Drop Rate. The next one is episode number 30, meaning a pet episode. So I'm going to be grinding a lot for that. Every single pet in the game is a pretty huge grind. And I am not going for any of those really easy pets in this next episode. Also, I would like to say that only 37.3% of you guys watching are actually subscribed, and I would love by the end of the year to be able to reach 30k subscribers. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, watching all my videos, subscribing, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.